making their way to the ring representing all Japan Pro Wrestling. They are the team of Nijikata and Mitsuhiro Jr. Well, it sounds like the dream is ready for next Wednesday. The Night of Champions, all three title belts at stake. We just heard from Dusty and James Storm. They'll challenge for the NWA tag belts. Did you know that in addition to being a three-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion, that Dusty held the NWA tag titles 20 years ago with Manny Fernandez? Team Japan shut out of the scoring in the first round gauntlet. Now they look to Hiji Kata and Harai to pick up two points. And their opponents representing Team Mexico. They are the team of a Pisco Negro and Heavy Metal. In the weeks leading up to tonight's World X Cup, we offered several preview matchups on our pay-per-views. Mexico's Team AAA actually lost two of those three warm-up bouts, but after beating Team Japan in a six-man tag last Wednesday, and after Team Captain Hector Garza won the gauntlet earlier tonight, Don West, you get a sense of renewed confidence from Team Mexico, and that could be a scary proposition for the competition. I mean, since these guys have gotten the trophies, they haven't relinquished them. They are so good together. As right here, we see he's got to and, and uh, Harai Jr. taking the advantage right off the start. They're going to have to be as good as they can possibly be because Team AAA Mexico has been the best so far in all the X-Cup tourneys. Double team here by Harai and Hiji Kata. Harai on the right-hand side of the screen, Hiji Kata on the left, and they take down Abismo Negro. Both of them, as we've mentioned, wrestle for All Japan Pro Wrestling, a company that was founded by the late legendary giant Baba, and currently run by a name that you're familiar with as well, the Great Muta. You ready for a little TNA tie-in? Both the Great Muta and Giant Baba were former NWA World Heavyweight Champions. Oh, uh, you see right there, Heavy Metal's getting into it with the referee, and it's actually with a bad for Abismo Negro as Harai Jr. and he kind of double-teamed him in the corner right there. And they continue the double-team in the corner. P.G. Kata setting up Abismo Negro. Oh. And with the distraction from Harai with referee Andrew Thomas, you see the low kick delivered by Hiji Kata. It looks like Heavy Metal's just so jacked up right now. He's so fired up. He's trying to get the referee's attention about something, but all it's doing right now is letting the Japanese team just tag team on Abismo Negro. They are the unknown factor here. This is the first time we've seen him in tag team action. The first time they've been part of the World X Cup. Let's see how they do as Abismo Negro catches them both in one shot. Yeah, and Isidore finally turns it around. Cut him with the dual drop kick. Now watch this. He dives. Suicide. Look at him. driven right into the chest follow cover by heavy metal on Hiji Kata. This team has become such a crowd favorite like today. They are just, they, the, the crowd respects their ability, but Hiji Kata just leveled a kick to the top of a heavy metal's head. And here he goes, and he just took him down. Drives him down to the canvas and turns things over to Harai. Mitsu Harai Jr. Yes, his father wrestled in this same building back in the Jackie Fargo Tojo Yamamoto era of Nashville wrestling. And it drops the elbow, but Heavy Metal able to roll out of the way and avoid the contact. Harai Jr. just took a little bit too much time right there. He thought he had a little bit more. Here you see the, the double team right there. Is heavy Metal puts it down, and here comes the frog splash by Abismo Negro. Nailed him perfectly, and Kichi Kata able to kick out a two. You can see right there that Harai Jr. just wasn't sure what was going on. was so close. German suplex by Abismo Negro, but Harai able to kick out. I want to remind you that beginning Friday, June the 4th at 3 p.m., as we see the sit-out move and cover for, oh, broken up at the last second by Hiji Kata. Friday, June the 4th, 3 p.m., TNA debuts its new national cable TV program, Impact. Check your local listings for the channel on your regional sports network, Impact. Friday, June the 4th at 3 p.m. Mike, today I can hardly wait for impact. I'm so excited that you see a ride, Junior. Just what a beautiful arm drag as he pulls him over. Now look at him twisting on the arm of Abismo Negro. Barring the arm, the cross arm breaker applied, but Heavy Metal comes in to break it up with the kick. Heavy Metal's 
so quick to help out his partner right there. As you can see, Abysmal Necros in a little bit of trouble here. Whatever game plan they had is going to Ryan. There's a Ryan Jr. Take the visible Nego right here, and you see the tag. No, and wait a minute. You said their game plan has gone hurray? <laughs> it's gone. I meant to say awry. And it's hard to say that when you got awry in the ring. Now check this out. Oh, uh, look at him just working on the arm, Mike. You know, this is this is shades of Ron Garvin. The, the, the Hijikata stomp. And, and you hear Hijikata counting off in English with each stomp. Counted all the way up to 10. Now he can just pulverize the arm with, with, with the stomping. Look at him pulling back on the left arm right now. They have found a weakness in the Bisbo Negro and they're exploiting it. Look at this, Mike. And you might find it strange that Hijikata was counting in English with each stomp, but when the sport was introduced in Japan in the 1950s, it was introduced by Americans. The referees over in Japan, they actually count in English. One thing I love about working with you, Mike, today, it's always a history lesson. As you see Harai Juki right there going to try to get the submission on Abismo Negro. And Heavy Metal not doing his partner, Abismo Negro, any favors. Trying to come into the ring, referee Andrew Thomas not having any of that, and now you see that Team Japan is oh. they're just totally neutralizing Abismo Negro at this point. They're just having their way with him. Oh, they've just worked on that left arm and worked on that left arm. Look at that. Every time they grab it, they go for it. They've elbowed it. They've stomped on it. And here he got it. Just a little suplex right there. He got it. Oh, Negro is able to spin. Look at him. Pull on the left arm again. Goes right back to the submission move, but you see Heavy Metal coming to the ring. He just can't. He just couldn't take it any longer. He had to come in and break up the attempt at the submission move. Well, they're going to pull Abismo Negro's arm off of him. Heavy Metal didn't come. Look at this. Again. There's a right junior again. And he got to take a cheap shot. And a drive of Bismo Negro, face first into the top turnbuckle. Oh, Harai shoots him out, trying to follow up the clothesline, but Bismo Negro able to move out of the way at the last second, and now can he get the tag in? Finally, Heavy Metal in. Oh, I'll tell you what, Bismo Negro's got to be wore out right now, you know. Oh, Heavy Metal's firing up, and you can feel the impact of that kick all the way here to the announce table. Drilled him right between the shoulder blades, sets him up again. But did not connect because Harai was able to move out of the way. Then he attempts that arm breaker, the submission move, but Heavy Metal is able to get the tag into Abismo Negro. I like how Heavy Metal kind of just taunted Harai Jr. right there, like, come on, try to get my left arm. And you see when he went for it, he made the quick tag. Drop kick off the top by Heavy Metal. Gonna take him up for a scoop. He's, He's got it right, right here. Bridging team. No. Harai Jr. just gets out of it right there. Is Heavy Metal going for another quick win? Small package, the inside cradle pin attempt, but apparently referee Thomas feels that Harai's shoulder was up, didn't even start the count. Well, you can see try for the bottom oh, straw cradle oh, here. Oh, what a kick by Ishikata right there. Is he coming out of nowhere? Not even legal, but he wasn't taking any chances. You know, that Mahi straw cradle is one of Heavy Metal's finishing moves, but Team Japan was able to prevent that from occurring. Out of the double underhook, going to try and elevate him. Oh, and does. Sit out, power bomb. Boom! Basement drop kick by Abismo Negro was on target to break up the pin. That'll stop a pin any time right there as Abismo Negro caught it perfectly. And Orion Jr. right now is on the front end of the attack. He's heavy metal, and here comes the setup. Here they go! Abismo Negro springboarded off the back of his own partner, Heavy Metal, into Harai. Now they place Harai up on the top turnbuckle. Arise in no man's land, and Heavy Metal just goes up there and breaks it down. Hurricane Ron with a little help from Abismo. Frog splash from the opposite side of the ring. Referee's not even going to put in the count because of the double team. Oh, and while the referee's not looking, he just kind of comes in and nails a kick to the back of Heavy Metal's head. Caught him with the end of Gary. Let's see what Hurricane got Abismo. Hurricane hits the exploder. Here's the pin attempt. Here's one. Here's two. He got they it. Got it. And the U.S., even at 3-3, Team Japan's tag win gains them two points. The Canadians shut out through...